this is um, a Paul Reed Smith McCarty model soap bar. It's a beautiful guitar. I love the weight of this guitar. Um, the reason I bought this one, and again, I'm doing my series on why so many guitars electric edition, um, and the reason I'm doing the series is, is just to kind of get in behind the mind of why I purchased the guitars that I purchased. And this is one of those guitars that, again, I purchased and I hardly ever play. Um, I thought I needed a soap bar guitar. The problem with soap bars, if you, if I put, you know, like, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear that buzz, but if I put it on the, the neck pickup or the bridge pickup by themselves, it's noisy. If I put it on both, it's not, which is kind of like the single coil thing where you've got, these are single coils and then now you're kind of like a humbucker with two of them on. So you got kind of a coil tap, or not a coil tap, but a, a phasing thing going on. Um, but I love the weight of it. It's very much like a Les Paul Jr. from the fifth, late 50s, early 60s. Um, it's mahogany just like that with a, with a maple top. It's beautiful, beautiful top. Really, really gorgeous, gorgeous wood. And the guy that designed the Les Paul McCarty, I think that's the guy. Um, he, he designed this. You can see the, the cool headstock. I love the fact that the, the um, you can see that, that the strings come straight off of the nut and right into the tuner. So it's a straight shot, unlike Les Paul's where they kind of angle off. So unlike Les Paul's, this one doesn't really have a tuning problem. Um, I don't really have issues. But it def definitely has a vintage tone. It's got different, the pickups sound very, very different. The, the neck pickup is very nice and hollow. And then the bright, kind of honky treble or the uh, bridge pickup. Oh, and the bridge is one of those, you know, what is this, a stop bridge? A stop bridge. It's got the intonation built into it. That also is really, really kind of cool. Um, pretty easy to change strings on, to be honest. Uh, and so, anyway, the. To, I, I play in this now more than I ever have, um, and I just a lot of times if, it, if noise is a problem, because I do session work, engineers are like, hey, that buzz, that buzz is a problem, you got to get rid of that buzz, and back in the 80s and the 90s, I was chasing buzzes through my rigs all the time, and I you know, was always very, very paranoid about buzz. Uh, now the funny thing is, and when you do sessions, a lot of times they'll say, hey, let your amp buzz, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and it's because they're sampling it. So then they can invert it and get rid of the noise uh, by using noise, noise cancellation. So that's kind of a thing now. So, so, you know, a noisy guitar isn't such a problem anymore if you can employ some noise cancellation uh, software. So. Okay, so this is a McCarty, sorry, it's a, a Paul Reed Smith McCarty soap bar. And I, I've had it for, I can't even remember when I got it now. I, I've had it probably since the early 90s. But there you go. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.